guys, it's uh, the week of Christmas. Quickly down here on the south coast. And Kumaran met me this morning with a lovely breakfast here at Umta 20. Quickly going to see if we can get a shad. I want some uh, fresh shad fillets or a head. And put it off the other rock here in front. See if there's a sandy swimming around, something else. So we're going to start off, I'm just going to rig up this. Ah, this is a lovely rod. The salt is uh, medium light spinning, 13 foot. Let's just make double sure, the 13.6. I've got my Saltiga on here with 30 pound, uh, Saltiga 5000 with 30 pound J braid. And then a bit of a leader, a uh, mono leader just in front. I think I'll just opt for a, a drift bait and uh, I tied a, a, a Ray Thompson special trace, <laughs> shared trace. It's what they use in Australia as well, it's like a chain gang with three hooks on. Stick your sword on there, a bit of cotton, but you don't miss it. And that's if you're going to keep the shed, you can use a trace like that. I fish a single hook when, uh, when you still want to release them and stuff. Or some of them. Now this is what I mean with a chain gang. <laughs> well, you've got two hooks. One to hold the sword up top. Of course, Shad doesn't stand a chance with this. <laughs> Tide's pushing, we've got an 8 o'clock high, it's now just after 5, about quarter past 5. So we should get a Shad here, I hope. I see there's no one here, so obviously the Shad are on other spots. Here we go, quick, quick. Give it a couple of wines. Deal, but they're round. of that chat that just took this and I was too hasty and the sod is still frozen. Now it's better to let them defrost a bit then I wouldn't have missed that. It would have took it, taken it into its mouth but that's a proper size shad. Let's do that again. It's nice heads for, for the sandies this size. That's called confidence. I only brought four shad. Ah, four sardines. <laughs> it's all spinning for uh, for shad of the beach. You should have just hung around here. Hello. 
fish, all three. No, it is all in the mask, just the other we've got them as well. Come by. There you And it's always nice when you start getting those slightly bigger shad, the fight. I don't just want to drag them out because it's actually so enjoyable. And so far so good. Three sides, three shad. <laughs> Let's see if we can use our last sardine and get a shad. And then we'll go put a little bait out that side. I think beats a fresh, fresh piece of bait like a shad head. I actually expected a few anglers here. I'm very simple guys. I start from the bottom because that's the first piece of cotton and on the latex it's going to mess that you're going to lose that cotton. Then you run all the way up and you run back. You can run again but as long as you do this section that it will hold on its own. Your knot should be above half. So it will hold the, the top piece in, in place. Otherwise everything just jumps off all your cotton will jump off on that first bite how ironic was that hook just went into my wedding ring same thing eh? getting hooked properly four sides bullshit not complex now it's time to pull out the tournament and I've got the uh, Saltiga Dogfight 8000 on there 50 pound Jay Brave Okay guys, I can't not put a, the scratch rod out on the left. So I'm just going to put it in front of the reef with a little blob bait, chocolate blob bait. A five pound sinker and a ring soy 5 -0. And this is on my 13.6 medium light with the 5000 Saltiga 30 pound Joe braid. After about 3-4 hours at Minton 20, we had no bites and called it the day. The next day, took a trip to Mtanzini with the family. Unfortunately the conditions here weren't favourable for bigger fish either. I'm making terrible baits here. Hoping for a shad so we can put a head or something out. So that's what we're aiming for. They're all red eye, like that. Normally I'll put the head down if you're fishing for brown scat or flatfish or anything else. But for the shad, put it that way around. <laughs> After the two days of catching some shad, I noticed that some of these fish haven't spawned yet. And that would be the reason for some of the bigger shad still being caught. Now after a few hours of putting several different baits out of Tanzini for bigger fish, none were around. But still a great day out fishing. Not that bust up earlier. Fishing's been tough. So we're fishing for shad. <laughs> 